is Justin Calamese. I give my accolades in most of my videos, but not this one. Just wanted to give a brief statement on my feelings this morning. I went to school about 20 years ago with a young lady named uh, Portia Blakeney. Strong, driven, independent. However, I distinctly remember when I changed schools uh, from city schools to the county schools, because I was supposed to go to Gopher High, but then they told me I had to go to Harrison Central. So I had to buy a view. I went to Harrison Central ninth grade. And she was in like, my first class in the morning, I believe. And every day, the whole school stood up, we put our hands over our heart and we said the pledge. Every day, Portia never stood up for the pledge. I don't believe she ever stood for any of the other, uh, like the national anthems or anything like that. And she always had the same look on her face. Uh, back then we thought, you know, she was just trying to get attention or just be unruly or go against the grain. But the type things that she said, they make sense now. Even in the ninth grade, 13 to 14 years old, Portia was already woke to what was going on around us. We didn't see it because we were oblivious. We were young, but she knew. And her family around her uh, definitely raised her well to where she is aware of her surroundings at such a young age. And I hope to do the same for my children. Now, I said that story to say uh, to my fellow Americans, when I go to my baby brother's game tonight, I will not stand for the national anthem. I imagine there uh, will be a lot of tension because we're gonna be in, in Picayune, Mississippi. So Americans need to understand that America has failed to stand up for all Americans again with not convicting any of the officers who gunned down Breonna Taylor. So their questions will be, why don't you stand for your country? Well, when our country stands for all of us, then I will feel comfortable standing. Three men unloaded their clips and AR-15s. I think those are like 12 clips. So it's 36 bullets. Eight of them struck Breonna Taylor. And they entered under unconfirmed pretenses of an ex-associate of hers. And they only convicted one officer holding him responsible for the bullets that missed Breonna Taylor. Not a single officer was held accountable of the bullets that struck the human body. One officer was only held accountable for the bullets that missed. This is why the phrase, all lives matter, is so infuriating to the black community. Uh, for you to say, you know, when we cry out that black lives matter, your response is, well, all lives matter. It's simply a lie. All lives cannot matter until black lives matter just as much as the other lives. As long as black lives are being disregarded as less than and treated as less than by the actions of the community and the justice system, all lives do not matter equally. I would understand if we said, Black Lives Matter more, then the proper response would be all lives matter the same. But just because you say that we love ourselves and each other and our culture doesn't mean we disregard anybody else's. It's, uh, it's okay in major cities for the Italians to stick together in Little Italy. It's okay for uh, Asians to stick together uh, in Chinatown. But if black people get on the same page, we're seen as a threat and a terrorist organization. They've done this before when police brutality was peaking. The Black Panther Party, which were the African-American community, had gotten together and said, well, we, we're going to police the police and make sure that they are respecting our human rights because we gave resistance and we didn't back down. Uh, they labeled the Black Panthers as a terrorist organization. Uh, so they're doing the same thing again. So now that 
you know, black people are banding together and protesting and other people are joining our cause, they're labeling Black Lives Matter as a terrorist organization. If you go back to the 90s and see the LA riots, you'll see the exact same thing. When people were marching in the street, there were other people just out there riding bikes and breaking windows. It had nothing to do with the protesters. You go back to the 80s when they had the riots in Liberty City in Miami. Same thing, people were marching in the street and other people were you know, taking advantage, eluding. That had nothing to do with the cause. 70s and 60s, civil rights marches. It's the same thing. Every time black people get together and we try to get on the same page, they label us as terrorist organizations. It's, it's sad that friends that I grew up with, some uh, who are who were white, that I played football with for years, like when Trump had first got elected, I had one, and his name is Ricky. He literally said on Facebook, if you don't like it here, why don't you just leave? And I was just, I was so confused. I just could not believe. I just, I was just, I was just, in, I was just shook. So like, so you've felt like this about black people all along. Cause Trump makes it clear about how he feels about other people. But if he doesn't make it clear, you can go back and watch the, the tapes. He, he constantly contradicts himself. Well, we've seen him hanging out with black people, rich, rich black people, yes. People closest to you, to him have confirm what we already knew but you know who you vote for that's you know that's fine i don't care who you vote for but be real all lives cannot matter until black lives matters just as much as the next life i'm sitting in my home now and because you know a drug dealer used to live here before me they have the right to kick in the door and i am a licensed uh, carrying American. Someone kicks in my door, I'm pulling the trigger. I'm not going to see who it is. You've already kicked in my door. I don't know who you are and why you're here. So police have the right to kick in my door and return fire and you could kill everybody in my house off of a suspected suspicion. As white Americans, do you live in fear of that? As a white American, when the blue lights come on while you're driving, do you cringe? because they're making you late for your appointment or you might not have, have the money to pay for this ticket. Or like all black Americans, when the blue lights come on, we cringe because this is a 50-50 shot. But when I get pulled over, I'm either getting a ticket or I might die. That's a real reality. 31 years old and I still get followed in the stores when I go to the mall. You know, we don't talk about it every day because that's our normal. People keep talking about the new normal. Like this, ain't none of this new. Brianna Taylor getting shot, Sandra Bland, Mike Brown, Trayvon Martin, none of this new. It's been happening. Only thing new is uh, everybody has a, a camera on their cell phone. And like I said, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And it's not Christ-like to shrug your shoulders and keep going because it's not affecting you. That's why they refer to him as the Good Samaritan. Because of his class and political stance, Everybody else just kept walking, but the Samaritan saw a human in distress. He came over and helped him. What does this have to do with God? Everything. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Give unto God, which is God's. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. That belongs to God. Would you be okay if somebody kicked in your door and shot your wife or girlfriend, son, daughter, grandparent, <coughs> friend? Would you be okay? Then why should we be okay? You should feel our pain. I'm talking to my European friends, you should feel our pain. Yes, we all have things we have to deal with because the you know, white men will say that white men are the most hated people on the planet. And we should have sympathy for them because of that. Okay? It's understandable. Because they are not responsible for others' actions. Neither are we. We all have drug dealers in our communities. We all have murderers, thieves, liars, cheaters in our communities. But we all can be judged on the same plane because the media shows black people in poor communities. They report all of our crimes and then people have the nerve to say, what about black on black crime? What about white on white crime? Hispanic on Hispanic crime? 
your rebuttal can't be black on black crime. 95% of all crimes committed on a race are committed by their own race. It's like, well, 90% of black people are killed by the black people. 90% of white people are killed by the white people. 90% of Hispanics are killed by other Hispanics. It's a moot point. But using media to manipulate the minds and hearts breeds confusion. And the author of confusion is the devil. Satan, Lucifer. His real name is Dragael. Are you going to contribute to the confusion by spewing that goofy moot point all lives matter because clearly they don't Breonna Taylor's didn't apparently according to the US Department of Justice and stop this because I can go on all day I'm not standing for the, the pledge I'm not standing for the national anthem I'm not standing for nothing until our country stands for all of us